A Turkish football star has been accused of attacking players on the opposing team with a razor blade during their pre-match handshakes. The victims of the assailment shared pictures of their wounds on social media, and they're pretty intense, and now fans are calling for the aggressor to be punished and banned from the league for a lifetime. What's up you guys? I'm Devin Howard. This story coming up is wild. Let's get into it, but first, do me a favor and click subscribe so you always get the freshest sports news. Opposing teams always feel a little animosity towards each other. That's just the name of the game. The desire to win creates an environment where players sort of have to despise the people they're playing against. Usually, this friendly competition might lead to athletes getting into yelling matches. There may even be a couple of shoves, but in general, no one goes out onto the court or field with the intention of seriously injuring opposing players. While things got super heated during a game between football teams, Ahmed Spore and Sakadia Spore leaving players bloodied and hurt. So here's what went down. A footballer named Mansour Chalar intentionally concealed a sharp object and brought it onto the field to attack players in a Turkish third tier league match on Saturday afternoon. In reports from Turkish news websites, Chalar reportedly carried a razor blade onto the pitch pitch before brutally cutting several different Sakadia Spore players in their match. This sounds like something out of a horror movie. These athletes went out onto the field to do their job, play a game, and then go home to their families. The fact that Chalar was so fired up he had to slice open opposing players is insane. There is actual video evidence of the moment he charged the players and sliced them on their faces, necks, and arms. I'm actually surprised no one got more hurt than they did. Check out the video here. The football players did not noticed the wounds on their skin immediately. Some of them posted photos of their cuts soon after the game. As news of the attack spread, the Ahmed Spore management claimed that it wasn't true. They said that the Sakadia Spore players were, quote, trying to slander our club with baseless claims. But, uh, it's kind of hard to deny these images. The players were rushed to the hospital after sustaining injuries, and we've heard that they filed a police report. Despite the photo evidence of the cuts, the Ahmed chairman is still maintaining that this is all a smear campaign. So what inspired this razor blade raid? Apparently drama started brewing before the game even began. Reports have surfaced that claim the Ahmed locker room was swarmed by a bunch of Sakadia Spore fans prior to the physical altercation. No injuries were reported from the mob, although the team manager was kicked. Here's video of that going down. It's obviously a stressful situation in the locker room. Lots of yelling, pushing, and shoving. It's an embarrassing display of fandom, that's for sure, but to me, it's it seems like an annoying disturbance more than anything. But the video was posted by the Ahmed Sport Twitter account as a way to justify Chalar's behavior, which is just wild if you ask me. Sure, it's completely inappropriate for fans to bombard an opposing team's locker room, but does it warrant being attacked with a razor? Absolutely not. Furthermore, Ahmed Sport was also reportedly angered by footage shown ahead of the match by Sakadia Sport on a screen at the stadium. In the video, which played before the kickoff, there was footage of Turkish military operations against Kurdish rebels overlaid with Ottoman war songs and ultra-nationalistic slogans. Ahmed Spor's chairman said the video was an ugly, disgusting, and immoral nationalistic display. The Ahmed Spor team is from a Kurdish city, so the video was supposedly very discriminatory. I haven't seen the video, so I can't say if it really was inappropriate, but even if it was, it still does not warrant a slasher movie-style fight on the field. This football match was highly anticipated because the teams are infamously known for their intense rivalry. I guess the competition was just too much for Chalar and he reacted violently. There is still no word as to how the midfielder will be punished for his actions, but like I mentioned before, people are calling for him to receive a lifetime ban. To me, that should be the minimum. Jail time sounds like a justified addition to whatever punishment he gets. Plus, I feel he should also receive some sort of evaluation. Clearly, he's not in his right mind if he actually felt like he could cut his opponents on the field with no repercussions. What do you all think of this terrifying incident? What punishment should Shella receive? Sound off in the comments and then make sure you subscribe to The Fumble for all the latest sports news you love to know. I'm Devin Howard, thanks for checking in with me here on The Fumble.